Hi YouTube, it's Jenna. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy unbagging. Um, it came in the mail unexpectedly this morning. Um, on Friday, on Instagram, they had put a little message saying that they were being shipped out this week. Um, I have not received a shipping. As of this morning, I had not received a shipping email, so I totally didn't expect it. And then I saw the mailman walking around with this pink bubble wrap bag, so I knew that it had to be the Ipsy bag. So here it is. Um, I have sneaked this month. They did a little, um, you could get before your, I think two or three days before your glam room went live, that you could um, share a little message on Facebook and find out what you were gonna receive. <clears throat> so I did that. Um, so I do know what products I'm going to be receiving this month. So it's not a complete surprise. Oh, that's a different kind of bag. So, the theme this month is Beauty Schooled. Card, and um, so it just says, um, visit Ipsy YouTube to learn the latest beauty tips and tricks from our Ipsy stylists. So, the little bag looks like a um, pencil case. It's like circular. I really like the print. Um, I will probably give this bag away or use it for my daughter's um, pencil, like a little, um, whatchamacallit, crayons and put it in like her little bag for church or whatever. Um, I won't use this as like a, a bag probably. It's very plasticky, so probably not. But the first thing that is was not in the bag is um urban decay perversion bigger blacker batter mascara um i was kind of to be completely honest i was a little bummed when i saw that i was receiving yet another mascara um i this will be my fourth ipsy bag and i've received a mascara every single month um so this one, I, I have two open right now, so I probably won't even open this one um, yet, simply because they're only good for three months when we open them. There's a little picture with a leading competitor ma uh, mascara, and then a picture with perversion mascara. So, I mean, if it does, if it does work, I mean, there you can probably see it. So if it does work, then I mean, this mascara could be really, really awesome. But I will not be opening it right now. I will be saving it. We shall see. So um, the first sample I'm gonna pull out right now is the Chlori Chlorine Extra Gentle Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. That was my phone, sorry. <laughs> um, so I was actually really, really surprised, really, not surprised, really, really happy to get a dry shampoo sample. I've been wanting to try dry shampoo. My hair is super duper fine and thin. And um, sometimes the second day, especially if it's been a day where I've been touching my hair a lot, like right along the roots, right? Especially like at the temples and um, by my ears will get a little bit oily. So I use a little bit of talcum powder. Um, but I'm really, really excited to try this. I've heard really, really good things about cl chlorine. Um, so I'm really excited to try this one. So, yeah. So we'll try. So you shake well, evenly spray a small amount of powder 12 inches away from head directly on the scalp. Leave on for two minutes and brush out. So cool. So I'm going to try that. Oh my goodness. Just dropping stuff on the floor. The next thing is a Jersey Shore Sun Mongo Ongo Nutrient Dense Anti Aging Lip Conditioner. So basically, a lip balm in mandarin and green orange ginger. Oh, let's see if I can get this open. It does not help when you do not have nails. Okay, I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm just gonna turn it. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it there. Hmm, smells really nice. I'm not. I'm not gonna put any on my lips right now because I have something 
some stuff on my lips, but smells really good. That's USDA Organic. Sunflower oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, mandarin green, orange essential oil, mango ongo oil, orange essential oil, ginger essential oil, lime essential oil, vitamin E, rosemary extract, cal calendula extract, um, and they're all certified organic ingredients. So that's pretty cool. So if you really like um, all natural lip balm, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'll probably put it in my purse or keep it by my bedside table. I'm always putting lip balm on. So that's pretty cool. Not exciting, but I mean, everyone uses it. The next thing is a pores no more pore refiner. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. Pores no more pore refiner primer. Well, that's a mouthful. By Dr. Brandt for oily combination skin. This is an instant mattifying pore refiner primer. Apply under or over makeup and throughout the day as needed. Well, I usually put my primer on underneath my makeup. I never put it on over top. I'm gonna open this. Oh, there's a color. Hmm. Hmm. There's a color. And I'm pretty darn fair. Okay, it's blending out really nicely. A little bit of a light scent. It's hard to pinpoint what it is. It does look like it kind of, you can't see it, but it blended out really nicely and I'm incredibly, incredibly fair. So that's good. Um, and it looks like it kind of camouflaged the little like hair follicles on my hand. So I'll try that out. I'm not in love with my primer right now, so I'll definitely give this a go. I'm a little, I was a little hesitant. I'll squeeze a little bit more. You can see there is a color and I'm incredibly, incredibly fair. You can see like my skin is like transparent. You can see the veins on my hands. So, um, but it, it blends out to be pretty trans, fairly transparent. I can't really tell like a color, so that's good. So I was a little kind of concerned when I, Hello, I have a visitor. I was a little concerned when I opened it up, but it seems pretty good. I have a visitor. Yeah, hi baby. I said, we'll do one more thing, okay? And then we'll play. And the last thing is JCat Beauty Flying Solo um, Eyeshadow in Half Naked. I have never used this eyeshadow before. Oh, I'll take that off. Oh, now it's gonna be sticky. So it's like um, <clears throat> an orangey, not like an orangey, like a goldy uh, nude color. <clears throat> Let's watch it. It's really creamy and really pigmented. <laughs> It's nice and sparkly. Can you see it? I don't know why you can see it. It's it's really really creamy, really creamy, and it doesn't seem maybe a little bit chalky. Oh, it's really hard to see in this lighting. That's really hard to see, but it's kind of shimmery, kind of light. I think it would be a really nice, um, like highlighter for the brow bone. I don't know how it's not, I mean, it's really, if you build it, it's pigmented, but when you blend it in, it's really, really sheer. So I think it would be like a really good highlight color. Maybe like a, if you wanted to add a little bit of shimmer on the lid, then this would be a good color, but I don't think it's like a good on its own color, but it's really shimmery. I'm, I'm being told to shh. So, oh, and if, oh, that's cute. And then you open it and there's a little tiny applicator and a little mirror, that's cute. 
That is cute. You really couldn't do very much in this mirror, but if you needed to do a quick little check or lipstick touch up, you could see. And there's a little applicator. I don't use sponge applicators. Um, oh, are you wearing a headband? Oh, you look beautiful. Would you like to say hi? Okay, come here. To say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say see you later. See you later. Enjoy your Ipsy bag. See you later. <laughs> okay. You can go and play and then as soon as I'm done I'll play with you, okay? Okay. Okay. So that was everything in the bag. Um, I like the bag. There's some things that I'm really, really excited to try. I'm really excited to use the um, dry shampoo and the primer. I really, really enjoy Urban Decay makeup. I think that Urban Decay makeup is really, really nice. So um, when I get around to using this, I'm sure I will love it. Um, lip balm, I mean, it's just, I, I use it every single day, multiple times a day, but it's not something exciting. It smells nice, but it's not terribly exciting. And the um, eyeshadow is cute. I really like the little tiny mirror. Um, it's not terribly pigmented. I, it's not something that I would probably go out and buy. I don't like really loose, I'm not a big fan of loose shadows. I prefer um, palettes or duos at least. But I mean, it's a good thing and at the very least. If my daughter wants to play with some makeup in my makeup bag, I can handle this one. So I hope that everyone enjoyed their Ipsy bag. Um, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.